ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're sitting here playing a bunch of PSVR demos, experiences, kind of like little things that you get to try out now that you actually might have picked up a PSVR or you're thinking of picking up one because they're, it's kind of, I, I, I was tempted at first. I didn't want to with some of the early games that came out, but now there's like these bits of pieces of cool shit that I there's really want to check out. A lot more stuff going on since then, a lot more people have got the shit together. The devs have gotten their shit together. You know, and yeah. they've kind of brought well, new like experiences. You... Blood, fucking I just, yeah, I don't even want Rush to of Blood or until dawn, yeah. They, essentially, like the earliest games to come out, um, have uh, have had a, many issues with uh, sinking and losing direction and losing tracking of the camera, especially whenever you're in a situation like this, which is suboptimal because we're actually sitting with bright lights in a studio pointing at us the entire time. So, um, we're going to try a, a little VR experience that's as part of the Rise of the Tomb Raider game, uh, because Rise of the Tomb Raider kind of commemorates the twenty years of. Lara Croft. She's been she's been a, a steadfast character for the Sony brand for the last twenty years. Oh yeah, I mean, essentially she was what, that that she, the Tomb Raider was a system seller for the original PlayStation, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I remember playing it on the original PlayStation. It was a That's big the original PlayStation, not the PS One or some bollocks. Like PSX that. or the PS Mini, uh, the yeah, original PlayStation, oh, the gray, no. gray brick PlayStation, gray. Yeah, PlayStation. with no analog controls as well, remember? Because it was digital controls in the early ones. The, the older yes, there were no thumbsticks. No thumbsticks. Um, yeah, so we're going to take a wee look at Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, the Rise of the Tomb Raider game is not a fully VR game, but it has a VR element attached into it. I haven't seen this myself yet. Um, I purposely was playing through the game for a few hours, enjoying it just with a VR headset on. A lot of games that don't have VR functionality built into them are just as enjoyable wearing a VR headset anyway because you kind of get a nice big cinematic experience on games that actually do these big wide vistas and cool places and very action-y, adventure-y things where you're kind of like paying attention to very single points of the screen while you're running through. I enjoyed the hell out of playing Rise of the Tomb Raider on VR, but <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised that there was a whole section to be done otherwise. What's up? Uh, well, I took a selfie of Fergal when he was here. And Fergal didn't realize I took the picture because he can't see through the headset. Oh, right. So we come in and go, didn't even know the fucker was taking this photo, laugh out loud. But uh, Henry from Camouflage Tattooing mm -hmm. uh, just commented 20 minutes ago, get on Rush of Blood, dude. It's unreal. He said Rush of Blood was good. It, it's unreal. I'm assuming he must have a better. I'm willing to bet he's not in a situation where it's not like this. He's not gonna like. Like, no. lighting's not an issue whenever he's playing. If you're sitting playing it in the dark and you got the headset on, I can imagine it because it tracks you perfectly fine. But he probably has the motion controls to go with it, but I just I could not. Like, that, that was almost unwatchable the gameplay of it. Painful. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, we're chatting about Rise of the Tomb Raider now instead. Rise so of the Tomb Raider. Yep. Get that set on T. I love the fact that it does track and recognize it once you put on the headset, it goes like, ah, you got the VR on. Let's oh. use the VR. Oh, shit, I've already hit the car. But here we go. Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20 years celebration of when she used to carry around two fucking nunchucks in either hand with pitchforks or whatever else. Climbing, climbing thing. <laughs> the, the climbing, I would see in the first, last game, in the first Tomb Raider game, the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, the remaster, re-release, she just has one switch, but in this one she has two, she's fucking ready. Okay, so um, obviously I've been playing through a little bit of this game, so I had to actually play through at least one chapter to get the uh, Croft Manor release or Croft Manor VR unlocked on it. So do you want to pop down to the Croft Manor and give it a try? This is it. So this Croft Manor is a VR function. You can turn on VR, turn off the VR. So pop down to that. So you have uh, Blood Ties. New story is up at the very top there. So this was DLC content, right? What is this? Uh, oh, oh, wait, actually play. Cool. So you actually, this is, remember I was saying before, you can either teleport or you can actually free roam with your control sticks. So this actually gives you the option to move between the two. And this is, this is kind of like the innovation that they are trying to put towards VR. That if it's not, if you're not comfortable with what can moving yourself and walking because it can cause a little bit of nausea, then you can use the teleport function instead. Um, whatever your preferences, man. Like if you prefer moving with your left and right stick, or if you want to actually jump from point to point, you have to choose one of these two. Uh, oh, free mode will be available after trying comfort mode. You have to do comfort mode first. Oh, fine. Oh, so I guess stand for this one. Uh, no, you don't have to stand. I mean, it might, you might actually be comfortable sitting, probably, rather than walking. Oh, it's recommended to play this after the stand. Okay, fine. Yeah, well, oh, because if you do play this while you're standing, you can actually, it means you can lean and step forward a wee bit and be uh, closer. Do you want to stand while playing this? Yeah, sure. If you experience any discomfort, sweating, or dizziness, please stop immediately. 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 I'm just going to make this full screen again as well because just for the fact that 
It kind of fills, fills the space a wee bit whenever you're standing. Yeah. Wait for PSH and VR to activate. Oh, there you go. And of course, there's my old buddy. Oh, that wonderful friend of ours outside player. We should have probably paused and actually did a reboot before we started into this episode. <laughs> so, it's a, the outside the player is a very common issue with the VR, apparently. It requires a reboot of the system because even though you're definitely in the <laughs> space. Apparently about... Oh, no, wait, that... Oh, come on! <laughs> it literally just, like, stops you at just that point. <laughs> That's such a point. So bad, because I thought it was like... Because you know what it is? It has the lights. It has to be because of where you're positioned. It's because of our lights are actually causing the problem. Hold it, to be fair. I'm super close to that camera now. Okay. Croft Manor, you are required to... Oh, should have actually walked outside of the room. Set Executor of It is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter. So remember, it's L2 and R2 to jump to where you want to be. Sure, if you stay. No, but you have to... Oh, whoa! Her mother disappeared. Her death was never taken. So this is actually a bunch of stuff that you're just watching happen while you're um, yes. uh, in the Croft Manor? Well, I can walk around this. Yeah. Because it's giving me directions. Uh, where would it have before? That's, oh, aye, that's a wall to tell you. You can't go any further that way. But it... I'm it says to walk. Yeah, you could walk over towards Lara or walk closer to her. Yeah, directions to where I can actually walk. Or it, it gives me directions so I can walk forward if I wanted to, but obviously I physically can't at this moment in time. Oh, there we go. Now I get. Can you wait? Can we walk forward or walk into that box? Alright, well, you don't, need, we don't need to use teleport. that one, I guess. Because now I can actually do the teleport thing. Right. So, see, the, see down here on the bottom? Yeah. See those arrows? Yeah. That's the that was the directions for me to walk. Right. But it seems like physically can't do that, unfortunately. Yeah, so you have to teleport instead. Yeah. That means you can move back now and get out of the way, so you can actually... And then teleport in. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, huh? Back into the box. Yeah, just screen. That can teleport you around from box to box. Cool. Oh, that makes sense. As Laura, you kind of wander around and look at stuff inside your house. L2, then confirm. Yeah. You can look at this page. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of Northern Kingdom. Look up. Yeah. Now you can turn the page around and look at the inside. Look at the page. contents. Dad's map of forgotten cities of Northern Right stick door, rotate. Look around until you find the important page. No, it said she was telling you to find the print. Oh wait, hang on. He was posted on he knew you find the prophet's tomb, so it actually you already find the secret information. <laughs> yeah, you're done. You're done with that. Yeah. So you snap rotation of the camera. That makes you actually jump. So this is what I was chatting about, where you actually turn yourself 90 degrees just by pressing left and right, um, which other people find fairly nauseating if you do it too fast because you're actually blinking a lot. Oh, we find something down there. Lean down and take a look at it. Um, there you go, did oh. you see? Oh, there's someone in there. Can I do it? <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> it's so real. You have to turn your head around until you actually spot. Oh, there you go. You can teleport yourself a bit closer. Well, if you step back, you can teleport a bit better, as much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you step back, teleport away, oh. teleport in. Because a lot of things with the teleport is actually you have to move away and then oh, get yourself shit. in a better position. Yeah, so if you back away and teleport out and then teleport in, that way you end up giving yourself a plenty of space to move in. You have to always think about it. It's almost the same way if you were playing Nightmare. The way they actually have them position nope. themselves in a the room. You don't remember, don't remember the show Nightmare? I know off the, off the show, but I do not remember much off the show. Alright, so essentially it was a game that was like this, where you're essentially, people saw the overlay and saw what you had to do and had to describe it to you because you couldn't see Sweet Fuck All. 
Crystal Maze. Yeah, kind of like Crystal Maze. More like with uh, being a team of people telling you what to do when you're literally blind. So, like, the last episode of Crystal Maze where the person was... Was crap. That's yeah. what they were doing, yeah. Now you have to crouch down. Uh, yeah, you, that, you teleported that close if you didn't need to go that close. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have been. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. Cool. Very useful book. Yeah. Is there anything else secret to find? Look to the right to see if there is. No? Look down. No other things in the mystery stuff, so no. You just needed that book. Fair enough. Teleport and look around for more places. You're inside the wall, so turn yourself around. There you go. Since you were facing a wall and inside it, so as you turn properly. Oh, teleport yourself. Ah, dude, I'm trying to teleport. Every time I do bring up the teleport, so it does not. scenery or does something oh, else. Oh man, that sucks. Oh. Man, you might be jammed inside it. I'm wall stuck. Lara Croft just turned around her own family home. There we go. <laughs> see you know, and seeing the actual like the AR camera where you just got your back to me, sitting up in the corner. <laughs> oh, I can't even get out of my own fucking house. <laughs> I'm trapped in my own home. People thought I was agoraphobic. I just really, really oh, involved. Come on. <laughs> This is actually probably, this is the most actively moving game we've actually played yet though. And this is just like, this is a demo. This is like a little bit that's inside it as an excess Why between the game. Why won't you get me leave? L2 to Oh god, no wonder I can't leave. Yeah, you're stuck at- <laughs> In front of the fucking cab cabinet here. <laughs> so you're inside the series before you can teleport? Oh wait, oh, where's it bringing me that way? Oh, what is with the inverted control? I'm walking to the left, but it sort of moved me to the right. <laughs> so you want to reset your camera? Wait, Remember, it, it goes relative to the walk direction. Look at this bullshit! I'm walking forward and it's taking me like... <laughs> there you go. There, you're back inside. You're out of the scenery. Yay! I can teleport. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah, well, that's the fourth bit. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your cables because they're actually wrapping around your foot. No, no. Finally, I have to go that <laughs> way. I have to go over here. This is brilliant. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this. I'm actually looking forward to playing this the hell out of this myself. Essentially, like, I'm one of the things where I go, I've got the big open, wide okay, open wait, space wait, to do wait, this. Wait. Come on! You're actually out of the camera range. We can't even see you on camera anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? Anything that will let me fucking teleport? L2, you remember? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think you're pretty much jammed in the walls. <laughs> I'm on the fucking table. Or I'm not on the table. I see where the arrow is looking. Yep. Whenever you move, it's going to be in relative relation to that arrow. You have to actually turn yourself using the quick oh, wait, turn. Wait, wait, wait. I can teleport up. I can teleport up. I can teleport over there. There you go. You're out. Uh, right. Uh, now don't get back into the wall. <laughs> all right. I wonder if I can just reset my view from position. there. Yeah. If you get yourself positioned, and then you actually use the reset. I just found it all on the table as well. Welcome back to the land of the living and the, the and the front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> is that more terrifying than any of the scary demos? Yeah. Wait, 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 look at that. Look. My controller's facing the fucking wrong way. Aye, because, like I said, it's in relative to where you actually placed it. Oh, that right. Let's see if I can. Did you center yourself with the options button? Boom. There we go, back. Standard. Hopefully. Jesus Christ. 
Right. Go to the table. Nope, part of the table. Table's in the way. Part of the table. You can move yourself around the table. Well, no, that's actually just see through. That's making you look a different direction. That's not moving you anywhere. There you go. Through the table. <laughs> uh, I'm so delighted by this demo. I wonder. Can I like? Will it switch me around if I do something weird like this? No, because there's a light in the back, so it tracks your head movement, even if you're not facing the right direction. The whole point of the two lights in the back. You sure about that? <laughs> You know, my controller is nowhere to be seen now. Because your controller can't be seen by the camera. No, but I'm... The light in the front of it, I can't see the light. Not a bit. So you can see the back of your head, but it can't see the back of the camera or back of the light because your body's blocking it. Or like say, for example, if um, you had one of the motion controllers, it actually puts out light in every direction. While the controller only can put out light in front way uh, towards the camera. One of the limitations of actually using lights but, on. But, but there's the thing, right? If I'm going into the TV mm -hmm. and I'm hitting the option button to stand to myself here, yep. which it has done now twice, mm -hmm. my controller is here. Yeah. I look over here. Oh, you bastard. Where'd you go? Oh, there. Look. See it? Yeah. What? And I turn it to the right, which means relative to where I'm moving it in real life. It's the opposite. No, it's actually moving at the right, uh, the way I'm, it's moving. It's the just the fact that it's over there. It's just the fact that it's over there. So this is the same thing that happened with uh, Russia Blood. Yeah, I wonder if it's anything to do with the outside of play area, bollocks. I don't know if it's actually outside the play area, but I think it might be because of the lights. There's one thing. Hello, we've got a room thing. And a controller is... Okay. What are I end up with a fucking wall? <laughs> Just look at the dead. Which is a good start. Not really, because I feel like if I keep walking, I'm good. You'll fall into something? Uh huh. It's because you, uh, you, your spatial awareness is kind of fucked by wearing the headset? Yep. I mean, I know that the table's here. Yeah. It. Like, so I'm looking at the bottom of the fucking goggles. Yep. <laughs> Like literally, it is just like nightmare because you used to have like a wee tiny slit that they could see out of, but only straight ahead. Oh, one second, we're on there. See, I was looking around, and I got that point where it skipped the whole image. See that? Well, it's because it's all it's locked. It's probably because you're bouncing into an object. If you look down. What was it? Oh, table. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah the there button. you go again. There you go again. Yeah, it's every movement. Wait, where did you get that bedroll? <laughs> or get the one with actually like the actual like dome seat thing, so it's actually like just your feet are moving and just slide on it. Oh, you're already there, That'll come back. Oh, yeah. Yes, because you got that open? Yeah. <laughs> you have to find, look to the bottom right. Not look to your physical bottom one. Uh, there you go. There is find hidden information. Get that first thing. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship yeah. was pretty good. Treasure of the you know, wearing an Egyptian, uh, so essentially it's on the dead Lara found in her house. Fair play. Yeah. You're just enjoying looking into the wall. Yep. It's the fucking hollow deck, okay? <laughs> it's the Imaginarium, my friend. Seven seasons in a movie. Fuck oh, community. <laughs> good movie. Good show. It's a very good show. It is a good show. I think you're done with that object. Oh yeah, that's it. My handwriting was dead. What the fuck did yeah. it do? Oh god! Are you done with it? Um, 
The door to the library. <laughs> oh, I just stepped it up and see where it was. Like, uh, <laughs> relic actual type. Yeah. It is just fun watching you in the camera, though, because it's a, this is the like aimless wanderings of a guy inside of like a virtual world. It's delightful. Yeah, but uh, for, me to, for, for me to get to this door? Yeah. Is it not? You're meant to be going further down the hallway. Um, yep, there you go. There's a hallway to teleport down. Nope, I think that's right, I did. There seems to be a point on the floor. Look out there. Right, what's going on? Yeah. Not showing you where the body is, but it's not. If it's red, it's somewhere you can't teleport to. Yeah, did you not see the point, the, the, the sparkling thing on the floor? Oh, you mean Literally, that? Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. Boom. No! Why didn't you go? Because you're. <laughs> you seem to no, be. Oh, I hit the button to teleport the bitch. <laughs> 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 oh man. You're a bastard. <laughs> That's entertaining your, as fuck. Fuck your life. There we go. Clues. <sighs> okay. No, fuck. Why is why are you looking wait, hold on. Yeah, you need to be in a comfortable position first. Facing the camera. Ah, uh, that's right. There you go. Right, every time you said, because the first time you told me to do it, you, you said do that and press the option button. I didn't realize I had the point of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst thing is, you sat there and watched me do this. You <laughs> sat me. <laughs> Watch me hold this up like this. <laughs> I do that. Which means that for all the fucking times I've been calibrating this thing, it's been putting it on the roof. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> I, I, just, I thought it made sense that it, what it is, it tracks via the lights, so always show up the lights. Is that a little bit more convenient for you? Well, we'll see now. This is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Here, follow the take that. It's <laughs> all those uh, servants. What? What? <laughs> Isn't he just saying that Laura went around touching servants? No, her dad did. Oh, all right. The one half of the map. I'm sure the other half will actually teach you where there's a secret door to be able to get into, and then you can wander around the Croft Matter in different places. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, you know, just. Wait, I can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. Hang on a second, I need to make a fix here because I pulled one of my cables. You pulled one of my cables. Pulled one of my cables. Oh yeah, look at that. There's it's clearly blood or semen on that wall. Blood or semen? Why not both? Well, down there there's a lot of blood. Up there, that's semen. <laughs> semen. Oh, it's just, it's still moist. It's still fresh. It's a fresh, fresh mark. Oh, 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 Okay, I'm having problems here. Well, you can do new work away fast. I'm going up to solve problems. 
Excuse me? Technical fix is how to go. You're doing technical fix, but I'm trying to walk around and not trip over everything? Yep, yep, that, yep. That couldn't go wrong at all. That is never going to go wrong. We're fine. Oh, good. And welcome back, everybody. There we go. I'm back out of the way. Yeah, it's very dark back there, so we can't really see anything on the screen. Wait, I'm not even looking at the roof? Oh, well, maybe because I have Yeah, you lifted the headset up, that's why you're looking at the roof. No, I'm just trying to bring up the... Uh... Detective vision? No, but I, I mean... I need to recalibrate this because every time I walk, if I walk to the left, it's to the right. So if I go to my left, my left, just see how it kind of put me into the wall. I go all the way. See? Yeah. Feeling my headset, my VR headsets are going backwards. <laughs> Either that or it's the fact that you're, like, look, where's your hands? They're behind you. Behind me. That's the reason why. Yeah, re recalibrate by pointing at the screen. Yeah, pointing at the camera. What a combination of like looking straight ahead, controller in hand, and head calibrate. And your hands should go back to being in front of you. There you go. Is that better? Now walk stick. Now step left. No, see that? Nice stick. My controller. It's still behind you. Press to the right on the D-pad. <coughs> is that better? No, look the direction that you want to be direct looking. I press right in the D-pad until it matches. Nope, hands are still sitting in the wrong place. Again, it's an issue with a calibration and not finding where your hands are sitting properly. Um, maybe this is part of the outside of play area issue that we're having. Ooh, it's affected you in a lot of different places. 5% complete. Not showing you the map of this. Happy days. Welcome to the one percent of the day. Yeah, well, you're you're making success. Four to fifty four. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. It was a dark and stormy night hey, in the hey. way in the Wayne Manor. And we did not know what else we could do. Uh, is, is it ten minutes. <laughs> Are you done? Yep, <laughs> done. Alright, then get yourself comfortable and sit down and we'll actually do a finish up on the uh, PlayStation VR Rise of the Tomb Raider experience. Um, I hit the menu button as well, I'll go back to the menu instead of seeing this going fucking... Ah, uh, sweet, there we go. Oh, yeah. So that was Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, the Croft Manor. I think I may give that another little try myself uh, shortly after this. Rather than actually, um, like that was that, was, that that was actually the fact that I don't know what the calibration issue is. We're probably going to actually swap out and reboot to make sure that the play area is sitting calibrating correctly because for some reason it's not showing you where the controller should be. And this is almost exactly the same problem we have with Rush of Blood. Yep. So maybe it's just the calibration error, or I mean, maybe that's why it's saying maybe. that's why it's saying those words because your control you're looking in the right direction, but your controller's not looking in the right direction. Yep. That's what it is every single time. I don't wonder maybe if it's an issue with um, uh, if it's an issue with like how far the camera is from us and how well lit we are. Then I mean we may have to make like a, a I mean this is something for us to talk about offline. But I mean with the lights we should get the uh, the smaller voltage ones. Oh, uh, small wattage, yeah, and that's uh, so there won't be as much light bounce as well because we're worried about the green screen coming off it. Your eyes are completely fried, aren't they? Ah, my head's fucked. <laughs> so there's the nausea. There's the sign. And that's what happens whenever you use VR for periods of time. You start to get a little bit uh, all over the place, especially yeah, if you're moving around a lot. Essentially, you look like you need to fucking sleep, dude. Yeah. That was really Holy good. That destroyed your face. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, in the most politest way possible, it's not your fault. Oh no, no, I just I this <laughs> So, uh, what's your review of the VR experience on that Rise of the Tomb I mean, there, there's a lot there to actually kind of like wander around. Essentially, it's a wee... Yeah, there is quite a lot there, and there's a wander around. And it reminds me of the... Um, what was the game we were playing earlier on? You had to look at things, sort of... Uh, it was like a... a room, escape room thing? 
Oh, um, oh god, what was that one called? Oh, I can't remember that we played. Uh, we we played a fair amount of games tonight, so I can't even remember the names of some of them. But I think I was telling you that there was actually like more adventure games like that. There is a specific one that is actually a uh, escape room. There's one that's like um, uh, I expect you to die, which is where you play a spy and you have to get your way out of like mm -hmm. various death traps. I think that game was fucked. That all the VR has just wiped you out. Wiped me out. That's what happened with Holy VR. Holy shit! <laughs> I think I have been playing VR on and off for about. Four hours? Yep. And that's what I like. They, they're, you, there is fatigue that's involved with it. Oh, yeah. I don't think all the Red Bull in the world would help me out here, unless, you know, Red Bull wants to prove me wrong. <laughs> Give me a year supply and then just put you, send you off of a Give VR me a year backpack. supply and I'll bring it in like a month. <laughs> we'll give you essentially um, a VR headset, a backpack, a lithium ion battery the size of the house, <laughs> and just wander around and just stay in VR while I oh up on Red Bull. That'd be some fucking fun. <laughs> give you some light guns to go along with it. Yes! So, Jesus Christ, give me some of those bad boys. Yeah, there is actually a light gun accessory coming for the motion controllers for a game called. Um, uh, you put LEDs on gloves? Is so like, <laughs> he Pachu Pachu with fingertips? <laughs> I'm wondering if you. You can track the speed that you're doing the goddamn thing and like you can imagine if with the leds on your fingertips and you're like doo, doo, and to reload you just throw your phone you know <laughs> throw your thumb, your thumb back yeah well i mean the, doo, the, doo. the technology could be there i mean essentially it's a matter of actually just having the controllers that actually function like the power glove it'd be the next step of the power glove could be done well guys if you actually enjoyed watching us play through a bit of the vr demo on rise of the Tomb Raider and watching will it gets stuck Fucking, in I'm, all I'm the walls. Here, like, ah. <laughs> ah, I'm falling apart. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed this and actually had a giggle of your own, make sure to hit the subscribe button up above. We'll be playing a lot more games in the future. Uh, we may take a little break from VR, just, just for Will's sake. Just sanity. For a uh, sake and sanity, mental, rather than a function. Everything, like, holy <laughs> shit. You have, you have made a trip. It's, it's really, it's actually quite brilliant, uh, but... It does take it out of you, and I would advise you if you are playing it, like, don't play for a long period of time. Just take a break. Yep. Uh, as, as I've always said over the years, if you start to feel any strain or tiredness or nausea in any way, form, put down the controller and walk away. Walk away. Yeah. Walk We're not with a headset away. on. If you are, start walking with a headset on. This is what happens to you. Yes. Oh, my God. That, although Tomb Raider was pretty fun to walk around, except when I was walking to the left, I was going to the right, and I was walking forward, I go back. That's because the controller yeah. was actually fucking weird directions. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been another PlayStation VR video here on Past Teacher Skin. If you enjoyed what we're talking about, hit the subscribe button that's above my head. And if you actually want to see any more stuff on any other videos, watching Will suffer. Suffer for his art. And not all of the videos that are on either side suffer of him. Suffer for money? Not art. <laughs> not art, just money. Uh, well, if you actually want to hit that, always hit the tip box or actually hit the links that are underneath the videos to actually go and buy some stuff that are pretty cool. If you want to grab yourself a PSVR, use the Amazon link below. We actually get a commission if you make a purchase. So, yeah, that would be pretty damn cool if you actually went and did that. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.